Hello guys and welcome to another video on Project Cars. In this one we are in an open wheel car as you can see. Not quite a Formula 1 car but uh, a Formula Gulf 1000. A uh, slower open wheeler of course than the F1 car but a uh, very interesting one as well. What you're watching right now is from the middle of a race around Imola in these cars with 40 cars on the grid. That was the maximum you could do on this uh, uh, track due to the amount of uh, pit boxes. And uh, basically, for this lap, I am trying my utmost to get past this uh, Adrian Pfeiffer AI driver just ahead of me. Uh, just to kind of show that uh, the AI can be a bit tricky to get past at times. The AI in this race is on 90% difficulty, and I am driving with all of the assists off. And this was amongst my first few race attempts in this car on this track, so uh, yeah, I'm not uh, particularly great yet as far as pace is concerned, but um, certainly having some great fun in this car and uh, battling the AI, you know, a new type of AI uh, compared to what we've used to uh, on previous games, these guys will actually fight you hard and they're maybe even over aggressive at times. And from my very limited experience so far, you can uh, really have some very interesting races against the AI and also some very frustrating ones. But uh, I am not going to be commentating over the whole of this video. Uh, basically, after this lap is over, we will jump into a new race, because uh, this particular race didn't end quite as I wanted, as you will see in just a bit. But I just thought I'd show this lap as a bit of an introduction, uh, and uh, obviously an explanation of what is going on, as uh, Mr. Pfeiffer is now actually challenging another AI car, pushing him slightly on the gravel, and uh, kind of gifting me an overtake as well, which is nice. But yeah, as for the conditions, as you can see, of course, it is quite foggy. I did put it on fog, just to check what that looked like. I don't feel quite ready to jump into uh, wet weather just yet, as we're now actually going side by side with the Pfeiffer coming into turn 1, and he's actually braking slightly later than me, and he's holding around the outside and keeping it on the inside for the next corner. So uh, very impressive by the AI there, even though I was uh, kind of in the wrong gear, which didn't help. And here you can now see what actually happened on the final lap when I was just getting a bit too frustrated by sitting behind him for so long. A little bit of an aggressive dive bomb up the inside of the chicane, which doesn't really work out. So I did actually struggle a bit to get a proper clean race in. As you're gonna see a few examples of here, the AI can be a little bit aggressive at times and I can also make some mistakes. So you really gotta be aware of what the other cars are doing. Although at times like that one, you can't really, you can't really anticipate that. And that was obviously my mistake, spinning into the wall. And here's an AI driver breaking on like on the th attraction zone just ahead of me. And suddenly there's another car upside down. And here we go through the first couple of corners. I kind of lost the back end. And, uh, I actually held it. That was, oh, but then I got hit. And then finally, turn one again, tapped in the back. And uh, yeah, there's a few cars around the place. But now the time has finally come to jump into a full race where I will shut up and uh, let you guys listen to the sounds of the okay, game the and the pure the gameplay and hopefully you guys will enjoy the action. Green, green, green. Go, go, go. Covering the inside line.
guy behind. You'll need to break as late as you can. You may need to cover the inside line.
weakness, let him feel your presence. So yeah, there we go, <laughs> it's a pretty tricky race, obviously still getting used to the car and the track, and also my new Thrustmaster TX racing wheel, but certainly did find that very challenging to battle the AI. I feel like I did have a slight pace advantage over most of them, but uh, it was certainly tricky to uh, get past when they are a little bit uh, like uh, unpredictable at times, and also uh, quite aggressive when uh, going side by side, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And even though I didn't uh, gain that many positions in the race, I uh, really really enjoyed it actually. This is how racing against the AI should be. I mean, you know, it shouldn't be easy to get past people. It should take a while and obviously if, if this race was, say, if a 20 lap race instead of a 6 lap race, then maybe we slowly but surely could have made it uh, up towards the front. So yeah, this is uh, definitely something I want to be doing more of in the future. Racing against the AI with massive grids. Look at how many cars there are going around there. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the race and the video, and if you did, then please leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for uh, many more Project Cars videos and F1 videos in the future. I will let you guys uh, watch the rest of this first lap from the replay cameras, but I've been Fizzy, and I'll see you later.